Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Once again, it's your friends, your twins, your mama's favorite side piece, and your sister's boyfriend, your man in a hundred grand, your boy Doc G. Um, and I just wanted to speak on something for real, for real, man. Just just speaking amongst my fellow brothers, man. Just speaking as a man. You know. Let me tell you something. We live we live in some crazy times right now. We live in some unique times. And and you know, you're starting to see little traces of famine, disease, war. You know, you're starting to see little traces of that. You start to see traces of it in 2020 with the coronavirus. You're seeing traces of it Right now with the war in Palestine and Israel and Iran launching nukes on Israel. You see in motherfucking traces of that with um, with when Russia had a motherfucking submarine off the coast of Florida, 200 miles off the coast of Florida. You starting to see that shit with the decline in birth rate population and all that. You starting to see that with the decline of. Of the, you know, of, of how of food and crops and all that and how all that shit is going right now let me tell you something these are just little examples little pockets little warnings you know what i'm saying and i don't mean to sound like a motherfucking conspiracy theorist or none of that crazy shit but y'all see all this shit with your own fucking eyes and what i got to say about that is that in the end all of this, all this posturing that you see females doing right now, talking about, you know, I'm an independent woman, my college degree this, and I'm, I don't need a man and all that bullshit. Let me tell you something. When shit hits the fan and all of that shit don't matter, your, your little money don't matter, your little car that you got don't matter, your little college degree don't matter, in the end... They will come running to the men. They will come running to real men. They'll, they'll come running to us. Real talk. I'm going to put it like this. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Um, Coach Greg Adams. He refers to this situation as the barbarian at the gate. Let me, let me state that one more time. He refers to to these type of situations as the barbarian at the gate. Because let me tell you something. A lot of these goddamn women out here, especially in America, with all of your first world amenities and all of your creature comforts that you have and, you know, your Starbucks and, and your little fucking avocado toast and your fucking, your, your, your fucking easily available groceries that you got. that You could just go to a store and get them. Instead of hunting down your own food and growing your own food and all of that. All these little creature comforts that these goddamn women have. That make them think that they so strong. Man, they don't know what strength is. Let me tell you something. Strength is when you're able to survive in hostile conditions. With a lack of. That's what strength is. These motherfucking spoiled ass motherfucking chicks in America. Man, let me tell you something. Social media is leading these motherfuckers astray. They're like, oh, I got to have a man with a Benz. I got to have a man with a mansion. I got to have a man that got this, this, and this, and this. But you're not looking for the type of man that will motherfucking make sure that everything pulls through when shit hits the fan. Those are the type of men you need to be looking for. Because um, I hate to say it, but these little pretty boys that y'all be looking for, when shit hit the fan, those dudes are going to be the first to die. Because they don't know how to survive. Let me tell you something about Doc Garcia. Let me tell you a little something about my goddamn self. I was I'm a I was raised in the country, you know. I'm a southern boy. I was I know how to farm, I know how to grow crops. I know how to 
I know how to kill livestock, raise livestock. I know how to do these things. That gave me a good foundation to know how to survive. I know how to use weapons. I know how to start a fire from scratch. You know, these are basic things that men should know. Real talk, real talk. And I'm saying that shit from the bottom of my motherfucking heart, man. Y'all need to know the basics. Y'all need to know how to purify water. You know, you need to know how to build shelter when, when, when the time comes. You need to learn how to survive without an abundance of food. Shit like this is why I eat one meal a day. Hell, I'll be able to survive without all this constant eating like everybody does nowadays in the modern age. So if it's time to goddamn survive and it's time to go without, I'll be fine. Real talk. Like these, <laughs> these girls that walk around here, they talk so much shit about men. Need I remind you motherfucking bitches. Need I remind you that it's us that's keeping this motherfucking thing afloat. It's us that's building these infrastructures. It's us that's goddamn creating this society. It's us that's building this fucking society. As much as you talk shit about how you don't need men, shit. Let me tell you something, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I see men out here doing some of the hardest jobs on earth. I was just on the cruise ship the other day. I mean, the other week, man. And I seen grown men goddamn literally climbing up the motherfucking chain and anchor of the ship. Goddamn welding the ship. You know what I'm saying? I ain't see one female doing that damn job. I seen grown ass men out on power lines in the rain. Working on electric lines in the rain, risking their lives. Man, I'm talking about, bro, I seen motherfucking men work in coal mines. I know motherfucking dudes that are goddamn, that work for, um, for Blackwater, for contract military companies, getting put in harm's way with no motherfucking protection. I know motherfucking, it's dudes out here that work in lighthouses in the middle of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? It's dudes out here that motherfucking work on skyscrapers. That's that's hundreds of feet up in the goddamn in the air. And they have bare minimum protection to stop them from falling to the ground. But yet it's these dudes, these dudes with with the goddamn testicular fortitude to keep this thing going. These dudes right here who you look down on so much because they do blue collar work. These men who you look down on because they ain't got a rich lofty title like like whatever. A white collar job or whatever. It's these dudes that you look down on so much. But let me tell you something. When shit hits the fan, those type of guys are going to be the ones that motherfucking inherit the earth. Real motherfucking talk. It's the it's the it's the blue collar goddamn it's the blue collar hard working man that's gonna motherfucking make this thing goddamn work. It's the blue collar hard working man that when shit hits the fan, he's gonna protect his wife and his children. He's gonna protect his household. That's what you should be looking for. These type of guys. Not these little soft, pretty boys, these these fake wannabe thugs that don't really know what it's like to survive. Let's not for real, for real. The ones that run their mouth a mile a minute, but can't bust a goddamn grape in a fruit fight. Y'all be going for those type of motherfuckers. I'm telling you, man, um, real shit. When the barbarian hits the gate, when shit hits the fan. Women will humble themselves. All your little political talking points, all your little talk about feminism, all your little talk about the patriarchy. Man, let me tell you something. When shit 
hits the fan and it will sooner than later. Trust me and remember this video when it happens. When shit hits the fan, remember that Doc Garcia said, I told you so. I'm telling you, man, we, we live in a time now. I'm telling you, we live in a time. I'm talking about all kinds of shit going on, man. It's all kinds of fucked up shit going on in this world. And I'm telling you, ladies, you, you better motherfucking straighten up and fly right. Y'all better straighten up, fly right, and humble yourselves right now because um, because real shit, when some catastrophe happens, when some shit happens, I don't want to hear your little feminism talking points because I can guarantee you it's a wise man that once said there is no feminist in the house fire. I think that wise man was Bill Burr, by the way. <laughs> there is no feminist in the house fire. You know, real shit. And in hell, to be honest, man, another example of why a bitch shouldn't lead the motherfucking country like Kamala Harris. Let's keep it real. Um, Please, when shit hits the fan, you want a goddamn man that's going to be goddamn leading the helm. A man with goddamn balls that's going to be leading the helm. Not some goddamn chick with a whole bunch of fake laughs and fake disposition. When shit hit the fan, ladies, you're going to be sorry. All this goddamn shit that y'all been talking about, all this, oh, you should get in touch with your feminine side, and, oh, you know, oh, it's all about, you know, popping bottles and cars and all that shit. In the end, ain't none of that goddamn shit going to matter. When the time comes, ain't none of that goddamn shit going to matter. And y'all going to be looking for the roughnecks. The goddamn men with discipline, the men of character, the men with backbone, the men who motherfucking, who, the, you know, the quiet men who goddamn work and toil and goddamn do what they got to do out in this world. Y'all going to be looking for them, not the loud, flashy, pretty boys that you motherfucking look for all the time. The NBA players, the NFL players, all these motherfuckers, they're not going to matter. So I'm just letting you know, you know, all these little, all these goddamn R&B artists and all these other motherfuckers that you motherfucking, that y'all like and, 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 and all these other motherfuckers that you praise so much, y'all ain't going to be praising them. And let me tell you something, 2020 was a fucking prime example because 2020 showed that it was the truck drivers, the blue collar workers. It was the motherfucking the, the truck drivers that delivered food to your fucking stores and shit and toilet paper to your asses. Those were the ones that was keeping the world moving. It was the motherfucking farmers, the men farmers who were out here growing crops every day for your motherfucking ungrateful asses. Those were the ones that kept society going in 2020 when shit was hitting the fan. It was the men, the blue collar, hardworking men. Who goddamn kept this thing afloat. And y'all. <laughs> I put it like this. It's going to get worse than 2020. Watch. That's all I got to say. Motherfucking watch. And, and that's all I got to say about that man. I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. And watch when it happens. Because it will. <sighs> Just come back to this video. And, and say that Doc Garcia, you was right. Anyway, I get it, y'all motherfuckers, later. I'm about to hit the gym because, man, I feel like I got to build myself every fucking day to be stronger. If you ain't getting better, you getting worse. And that's, a, that's one last little nugget I'm going to leave you fellas with. So, holla at y'all later. About to get these mouths in. Holla at your boy. Peace.